So today we are starting our West Highland Way journey. Dad isn't actually joining us because he doesn't really enjoy walking that much. So he is going to carry my bags for tomorrow up to my hotel that I'm staying at tonight. And yeah, let's get started. See yeah. you later. Good luck. Thank you. Be careful. Yeah, always careful. Hopefully look, look, look how lion, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, no lions, just go bears. Right. I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. I'll call you. Yeah, yeah. When I get stuck in the picked up. Off your feet, have something to eat, or even just visit our loo. Kids can feed the ducks or play in our park, there's plenty for them to do. When you're fully replete and you've had a seat, think about your next night on the towels. Keep that smell on your face, Fort Bill is the place. It's only another 87 miles. <laughs> I've got a really funny story about horses. So when we were kids, there used to be horses round the back, like near our house. My cousin Megan had like white blonde hair and she was picking down to pick up grass to feed the horse and the horse must have thought her hair was hay and just started eating her hair off her head. It was the funniest thing ever. I think she was scuffed up. So we packed loads and loads of food but I never really thought about the whole water situation and I drink quite a lot of water so I'm so happy there's a water station here because we ran out of water about three miles ago. I was so thirsty like we were racing to the next destination to get juice and then we got here and the place is closed but thankfully they have a little water tap it's so nice, you can just fill up your water and on you go, it doesn't cost any money, it's just to help people out, so it's so sweet that we can do it. So carry on! from Milgai to Drimmon. It was a nice walk, it was quite easy. Most of it was flat ground. We did run out of water at one point, which was a bit of an issue. Today we're feeling a little bit sore, our feet are a little bit, they're not blistered or anything like that. They're more just tired. We did 12 miles yesterday, so it was a little warm up journey. And 
yeah, we had a nice night's rest, we had a good dinner, and we're ready for day two. So I totally recommend we got an anti-blister tape. So basically before we started the hike we taped all our feet up and this morning we did the exact same thing and it's just stopping the boots from rubbing so when you prevent the rub it prevents the blister and it kind of makes you be able to go for longer. My cousin did this and his feet were covered in blisters so we're trying to avoid that because once your feet are blistered it's just going to be a really dreadful walk from there on in. We've been really lucky, the weather's held off, fingers crossed there's no rain for the next couple of days but I know there's rain forecasted for the weekend so that's going to be when the hard work starts because at that point it's all uphill. So at the moment though we're kind of still on the flat and we're doing well and Nico is loving it. make sure that you take good breaks because yesterday as I said we just powered through and we were absolutely starving to come the last few miles so today we're making sure we stop and we're having a healthy amount of breaks and just to get rest time especially for the dog as well because um, it's quite hard. We're having chicken and rice. We've just got little packets that are quite easy to put our backpacks and then we picked up a little bit of chicken from Spa this morning so should be good. Out of both them. It tastes pretty good though. Yesterday I tried the rice without the chicken and it was a bit bland, but today with the chicken added, it's actually much better. And it's much more filling than pasta. We've got quite a lot of pastas, but we really like rice a lot, so rice feels like home food. Anyway, we're going to get on. guys, so we are now on day three. Yesterday we went from Drummond to Roundinen, Round, Roundinen. Um, and it was quite a nice walk. It was mainly flat. There was a couple bits of up and down. There was a conic hill, but it was majority of it was okay. 
so we made quite good time, we got well rested overnight. So today's a 20 mile stretch, we've done 4 miles so far, so I think from here on in it's going to be uphill, it's going to be a little bit tougher, but so far so good, we're feeling good. We've just found our first bothy. So what a bothy is, is in the West Highland Way, there's lots of ruined buildings that are, they've been built a long, long time ago and just through the years they've kind of degraded and they're not livable anymore. So bothies basically are people who've came in and they've rebuilt the structures from the ground, put a roof over it, it's very, very basic inside, but it gives you a safe place to sleep overnight without a tent and it's dry. So it's, it's, it's actually amazing inside, there's benches, there's, like a little code of things that you should and shouldn't do. There's a fireplace that you can, there's like firewood line and you can just build your own fire for the night and keep the place nice and cosy, it's so cool. So often in bothies, people leave like leftover things that they no longer need. So there might be tins of beans or things like that that people have thought it's too much to carry, I'll just leave it for the next person to come so they have food for the night. But it's just amazing that you can have a clean place to sleep for the night, you don't need a tent and it's warm, it's so cool. Someone's built this to help other people, it's completely free, you don't pay a penny, you just make sure you leave it as you found it and hopefully it lasts another few hundred years for many other generations to come walk the West Highland Way. final destination it is pouring down the mud is like landslides everywhere it's it's taking as much longer than we expected because we're just slipping and sliding but everything's all good we've just had lunch not that long ago and our spirits are still quite good we're enjoying it but it's just a little bit too wet and um, we find this beautiful cave though that we might be able to get some rest in but i think right now we need to just keep going because um we've still got a long way to go and the dog is just loving life he's like skidding about everywhere and eating grass so we're doing well not long till we get there and we get a nice hot shower!
Okay guys, so a little summary of yesterday. Yesterday was a big one. Yesterday was our first 20 mile walk. At the start it was glorious. We had great weather, the sun was shining, the path was fairly, fairly smooth. Come the afternoon after lunch it started pouring down. It was wet, it was slippy, it was hilly, it was rocky. There was, there was a lot of steep rock. Um, we passed someone and they were like, oh no, I don't think your dog's going to be able to do that. Well, they were right in one way. The dog did absolutely fine. He was amazing. Me on the other hand struggled to get through it majorly. But it worked out well, we got through it. And then at the end we decided to go onto the road because we were following the West Highland Trail but we were coming off at the town so the trail doesn't go through the town. We bumped into an RV and they gave us a lift into town and it was fabulous. We were so happy by the time we got to the hotel. Um, had a little bit of pizza, got a hot shiver and then passed it all night. Today is now day four so we have passed Tindrum already and we're heading to the Bridge of Orkey. So not long to go now, I think we're about halfway through today's trip and I can't wait to get there. The weather's not great so yeah, let's go. So today I'm not really sure what this area is called but it's absolutely amazing. The hills are just, it's just crazy, there's like a river here, or it's a bit of a loch and it's just, it's just a crazy sight, it's so beautiful, like words can't describe the enormity of just this mountain. And there's waterfalls coming down, although it's raining it's just such a glorious place to be, it just makes you happy looking at this kind of scenery and it's just amazing that it's all in my home country. Thank you so much. Thank you. Incredible. So lucky to be able to see this every day. You know what? Uh, you don't appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was the been, same. Because you've always been here, you know. Yeah, that's true. I'd love to be able to see it in other people through other people's eyes. Well, see, that's the thing. I never started exploring Scotland until I found myself away and living in a big city. So. Obviously I'm quite a country girl, uh -huh. so I've always grown up with nature and with animals and just, you know, just the country life, but then when I moved to a big city I thought, oh goodness, um, I miss home. <laughs> you don't appreciate how beautiful it is, although you don't forget about the weather. <laughs> the weather never seems to get better. munching away in some grass. So deer are really common in Scotland but this is the first deer we've seen since we arrived. So take a look.
from Bridge of Orkey to Kinloch Leaven but unfortunately the rain was just pelting down unfortunately the dog has also got blisters in his paws we just couldn't do it um, we're really quite sad we're hoping that if the rain comes off a little bit we can leave the dog in the pod and we can go back and have a little look along the way and we're supposed to do the double staircase today and we're super super excited for it but unfortunately it just wasn't meant to be. We're not going to let this stop us, we're still going to be optimistic by the time tomorrow comes, hopefully Nico's paws have healed up a bit and we're going to continue the journey and finish the West Highland Way.
absolutely beautiful. The rain held off for most of the way. We went through some beautiful mountains. The scenery was just so special. I just, I really, really highly recommend anyone who lives in Scotland who's not done it to try it out. You may not complete it all. You may have to get a lift a little bit of the way, but just trying it is definitely better than not trying it. It's such a unique experience. Um, I've never experienced anything like it and the relief, the achievement you feel <laughs> when it finishes is just great. You know, the last six days we've just worked so hard. So there was no training. I didn't even wear in my boots. I just went for it. And I would recommend you do some preparation work. Maybe train a little bit for it. Maybe wearing your boots would be a great idea. But apart from that, get out and do it because it's just so good for your soul just being connected with nature all the time. We get so busy on our phones and you know, working all the time, sometimes it's good to just pull yourself away from everything, connect with nature, and I had no phone all week and it was just the best experience of my life. If you guys have any questions about the West Island Way, drop a comment below and we'll try and answer it as soon as possible for you. And good night, I'm going to eat now because I'm starving. We thought we'd made it to the end of the West Highland Way and then Dad called to say that he was waiting for us at the end of the West Highland Way and this happens to be the end. So the end that we finished at was the original end of the West Highland Way but now it's changed to here for some reason. But yeah, this is us at the end. Do you know why he's... Ow! Do you know why he's this? He's got sore feet because he's walked all this miles. Me too, I've got so cold. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again. Um, no, <laughs> not for a while. But we're so fortunate that Dad drove all the way up three and a half hours to pick us up because our feet are sore and we're tired and we're going to go and get some food. And yeah, that's the end of our West Highland Way journey. That's the end, you know, look at that. It's mountain. I think this town is so, it's so made for the West Highland Way. When we started in Little Guy, there wasn't really anything there. There was a few shops and not very much, but as we've Kind of came up further north. This town is this town is really really cute. Um, we're in Fort William now, and there's like little pubs, there's Chinese, there's chip shops. It's it's quite a built up little town. It kind of reminds me of Bagger a wee bit. It's quite nice. Right, let's go home. Six days done. See the nail. My toe feels like no longer part of my body. It feels like the blood circulation has been cut off, and the toe is going to fall off. I think I might lose my nails. We. We're on our way home from the West Highland Way and now we're going an adventure across the water. I don't, what's this island called? I don't know. <laughs> he Wait. just said you can go across it in there. You need to go forward more. Every, every, every 15 minutes they come back. <laughs> Dad loves going across the water. He loves going to look at different islands and stuff like that. So now is it we're quite funny, right? When they bow in the, in the ship, you know? You keep getting in your trouble, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much is that? 10 pounds. Ten pounds. Why are you so for? Thank you. One good job. Look, we can take it. No. <laughs> Only one way ticket. That's one way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's the last day? Like, every other day the scenery's changed quite a lot. So as you're going through each day, the scenery just changes. It's quite strange because you feel like for so long that you're seeing the same scenery and then like that it just changes. So today we started going uphill and I thought, oh my goodness, if I'm uphill all day, I'm not going to make it to the end. Like it was so steep. And we walked in that for about maybe half a mile, a mile. And then once we got up to the top, we were just walking through like valleys of mountains. So it was so cool that you could see the path in front of you, you could see the path behind you, but round the side there was just nothing but mountains. We were like bang in the middle of the valley. And at the start it was raining so it kind of sucked a little bit but then the weather cleared up and the fog cleared up so it was just, it was like immense, like it was just a crazy feeling that there was nothing around but all these valleys. Um, it was just, it was so cool. It was, yeah, it was amazing.